my favorite fruit season is here and i'm going to share my version of the most epic cheesecake here is the easiest and yummiest strawberry cheesecake which you are going to love i promise you that cheesecake making has never been easier we are going to use my new atemberg mixer grinder this is the coolest new addition to my kitchen and it comes with four attachments Let's quickly start the recipe. First, we will make the base of the cheesecake. I am adding a nutty twist to the base of the cheesecake. I like the nuts to be slightly coarse and not a fine powder. And Atemberg's slow mode is perfect for the same. Grind the digestive biscuits to make a fine powder. And now, let's mix biscuit powder, the nuts, along with some butter spread this mixture on the cheesecake mold and press it using a spoon so that it is nicely compressed this is a very important step put this mold in the freezer for 20 to 30 minutes in the meanwhile let's make the cheesecake batter trust me this is the easiest way to make the cheesecake batter and you are going to love it all you have to do is put all the ingredients of the batter in the liquidizer jar and blend it until it is smooth what i love about this mixer grinder is the safety feature the mixer grinder won't turn on until it is locked properly pour the batter on the cheesecake crust I have put a foil at the bottom of the cheesecake mold. Place the mold on the tray. Pour some water on the tray to make a water bath. This will give a super creamy texture to the cheesecake. We have to bake this at 150 degrees Celsius for 50 to 60 minutes. Once it has been baked, cool this until it comes to room temperature and then refrigerate this for at least 4 to 5 hours. Finally, let's make a delicious strawberry topping. I'm going to chop some strawberries using the chopper jar. Yes, you heard it right. This mixer grinder also comes with a chopper jar. I have finally chopped some strawberries. Transfer the strawberries, sugar, orange zest and lime juice to a pan. Cook this until it becomes thick. Once this mixture has cooked, Let it cool down. Add this strawberry topping onto the baked cheesecake. Top this with some fresh strawberries. Garnish this with some mint leaves and your strawberry cheesecake is finally ready to serve. You must serve this cold. Go and try out this delicious recipe and don't forget to tag me and Atemberg. You can buy this amazing mixer grinder from atemberg.com.